And before I end, if I ask you this question, who is the founder for Wahhabism? Ibn Taymiyyah. Who is the founder for Deobandism? Asim Nanotun. Who is the founder for jamaat e islami Abu Lala Maududi. Who is the founder for Qadiyani? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiyani. They have founders. That means they show us that they are the innovators. They are the bidatis. Our founder is only and only Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We do not have founder called any Najadis. Yes, indeed, we have our guides, Imam al -Azim, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Muhammad, Sayyiduna Ghawth al -Azim, Sayyiduna Khaja Gharib Nawaz. They are our guides. They are not our founders. Founder is Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And why they are guides? Because Allah has made them the guide. Sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim min al-nabiyyin wa siddiqeen wa shuhada wa salihin. Every day, minimum 20 times, we say, Ya Allah, guide us on the path of the pious people. So we ask from Allah to remain on the path of the pious people. After Salah, we do follow that. And all oh, the followers of Wahhabism, you say, we don't need awliya. Then why are you asking this dua in your prayer to be guided on the path of the awliya? In the path of the Salihin, why do you pray? The difference is clear. Your prayer, your dua in your prayer is not accepted. That is why you are away from path of awliya. We may be sinners, but alhamdulillah, our prayer is accepted because we are on the path of awliya by the grace of Allah Ta'ala.